what's for dinner a salad that wasn't growing quite right tastes sweet and crunchy I think I'm gonna enjoy it Hey everyone, I have an impromptu lettuce update. Things are going wrong. So, this has took a turn for the worse very quickly. And uh, so my part, I, I'm going to... Hey everyone, so a real quick lettuce update this will be the last one for this this grow um, I don't know if you can tell there's a a lot of funky edges now on the leaves um, this turned pretty bad pretty quickly like overnight um, I started getting a lot of this stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna harvest this lettuce up I'm gonna clean it up I'm gonna weigh it from each tote um, I'm gonna do a total weight from each tote not an individual head um, but once I clean it up I'm gonna look in the reservoirs I'm gonna check what the pH and that stuff is and then I'm going to come back and I'm gonna give you my recap on what went wrong why it went wrong this time and I haven't seen this level of damage in the past all right so I'll be back and we'll go over all the details Okay, so I clipped out the, uh, the first tote. You can see I got that all cleaned up. Um, I didn't take most of the stuff that is not edible I, I pulled off. Um, there is a little bit of edges that I'll pull off before I eat them. But this is what we got. And this is 257 grams. So that's a, that's a, you know, a good size bowl full. Now we're going to do the other one. We're going to see what that comes out to. Okay, so now we've got the second one cleaned out. You can see that's done. And we have it in the bowl. It's 332 grams. So this one's quite a bit heavier. And uh, it does have... You can see there's a bit more lettuce in there. This is the damage, the damaged leaves that I pulled off. So it's not terrible. These will have to be cleaned up a little bit more, but overall it's not too bad. So now we're going to get to the nitty gritty. So we're going to dive into this tote and see what's going on. So. In my grows before, I used a lot more water, right? So I would grow five heads of lettuce in a seven gallon tote, just two more gallons than what you technically need to grow them. These are three gallon totes, but I can only put a little over two gallons of water in there. So you can see there's not a lot of water left. In most of my other grows, I still had quite a bit of water. So I'm thinking the, the reduction in the amount of water made everything go exponentially bad a lot quicker. So I'm going to tell you, I already know these are going to be way out of whack. Um, biggest thing is the EC, or I mean pH, because you know... Um, being gardeners that plants need specific pH to be able to take up nutrients So I'm guessing this is going to be way out of whack That's not as out of whack as I thought but So right now that pH is showing 7.1 Hopefully you can see that in the light 
So that means the pH is high and it can't take as much nutrients up as it should be able to. We'll check EC just because we're here. So the EC in this one is 2.6. So that's a lot higher than what lettuce needs. Now what's weird is I put just as much in this tote as I did in my DWC tote when I set it properly. I put two teaspoons in. So overall pH is way too high and the nutrient level is way too high in this tote. And again, because I don't have as much water, I think that's why everything went bad so quickly. And then we're going to check this tote as well. That was the General Hydroponics Maxi Grow. Now we're going to check this one as well. This one actually used up more water. The roots actually still look a bit healthier. You can see they're brown in a little bit. Now, I just did the video. I try to do them as close to real time as possible. So that video, the last update was done, I believe, Wednesday night. And I posted it Thursday. I do it the day before I post it. So these are browner than they were that day. And today is Friday. So within two days, this is what happened. So we'll read pH on this one. Got to take it off hold. So the pH on this one is 8.4. Yep, it's holding right at 8.4. And then we'll check EC. Just to see what it's at. That's 3.0. So again, and that's the master blend. So master blend was even higher in both pH and EC than the general hydroponics was. So So now to begin my explanation, um, I explained some of it as we went, but pH and EC, don't get me wrong, they're important in hydroponics. You should set them right if you have meters, you know, all that good stuff. Your lettuce will grow better, it'll grow healthier, you'd probably get a, a larger harvest out of each of these totes. Now, if you're using smaller totes, they, they say a gallon per head of lettuce, which is what I use, usually always did before, at least a gallon a head of lettuce. These I wanted to save space, so I went with smaller totes. Now these, these maybe are not the right lettuces to grow in here, uh, because these were the little the, the iceberg, and they should have formed a head. They're, they're nowhere near forming a head, so they probably should have been in here longer, because I think this has only been 60 days. No, not 60 days. I'll have to look how long we've had these done, had these going. I think it was six weeks. Yeah, I believe it was six weeks. So if you would have had a larger tote to support these, they would have went longer. But again, a larger reservoir would not have gone out of whack so fast. Right, so like I explained before, I had a seven gallon tote. I would grow five heads of lettuce. I had nowhere near the amount of damage that I did in this one or as quick as it happened. So I think those are two of the big problems. If these would have been larger totes, this would have been able to run a lot longer and it would have been in a lot better shape. The lettuce heads would have been in a lot better shape than what occurred here. So going forward, I am going to I still want to push the limits of what I can grow in these totes. So my next grow is going to be, I'm going to use the general hydroponics. I'm going to put four of the little gem butter heads because they're a 30 day, they're supposed to be a 30 day lettuce. Um, the iceberg, I'm not sure. I'm assuming since it's a heading lettuce, it should take longer. So I'm going to do four little gem butter heads 
in general hydroponics after I clean these out and get the other ones going. Um, but again, I wanted to show that you can you can do these things. You can throw them in there. I would recommend a larger tote. I would recommend sticking to closer to the one gallon per plant that you're going to grow. And I, I think you will you will find it will run better for a longer period of time. And even even if you are setting them, you have to check them. Um, so while we're here, we're going to check the other toes because I believe these are going to be a little bit off as well. So these are my DWC totes. Oh, actually, I know these are off because I did just check them. Um, the pH on these were off. So I set these to the 5.8 pH, and I came down today, and this one was 6.3 or 6.4. I didn't, I didn't do a video because um, I don't want to bore you guys with uh, so many of the same type videos. But this was at 6.4, I believe it was. And I had to put... Oh, I actually, I didn't adjust this one. No, I did. Six point, it was like 6.4. I have it at 5.8 right now. I had to put some pH down. Same thing with the other one. This one was actually a bit higher. This one was closer to 7. So I had to add pH down to this one as well. So if you're going to do it and do it correctly... You still, I still want to make sure that you realize you're going to have to check these. Now see, the EC in this is 2.0. I did not put, it was not set to 2.0 when we set these up. And I'll check this one as well. This one is 1.8. So I'd have to check the video to see what I set those at. Um, I want to say I set them at right around 1.6 something like that because my water is 0.3 and I wanted it like 1.3 so those have to be checked as well and they have to be adjusted as you go so that's my spiel um, is pH and EC important yes is it critical to have it exact I'm, I'm gonna say no um, this proves this and this proves you can grow lettuce. EC, pH, way off. Nowhere near correct. That's a nice little head of lettuce that I'm going to enjoy eating. The butterhead or the iceberg lettuce, you know, it's not, uh, it did not head like it should. It started to. There's actually a little head in there. But can I eat that? Yeah. That's going to give me a nice salad. Maybe it could have been twice the size if, uh, if it would have been set properly. But with, with hardly no investment, just throwing things in and getting it going, you can grow lettuce. You know, I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it couldn't be better. But you can. Now I have a lot of cleanup to do in those totes. And then uh, i got to start some more seeds. And just to show you one other thing, I came down today to clean out this other tote. And look what I found sitting behind my bucket. We got a cucumber. I have no idea how it continued to grow on this plant. Because this plant is, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's like cardboard. Or not cardboard, but worse. So crinkly, it's unbelievable but we got a cucumber so this tote's going to be cleaned up i'm going to get a cucumber in there and i'll quickly show you this is this is turning into a, a garden indoor tour but there's my cucumber i set this up just like i did the other one and checked pph or the ph and uh, ec in this so now we got a cucumber started there hopefully that's going to do better uh i have a string up here i'll trellis this one and let it grow up to tr grow up the string once it starts. But uh, and if you have if you are in hydroponics and you have old hydroponic nutrients like in like are in there, I'm actually going to give that to my aloe. Well, some of it, not all of it, because there's 27 gallons or 22 gallons. But to my aloe and my pineapple, see if that helps them along. 
But, all right, that's my spiel. If anybody has any questions, um, please leave them in the comments. Anything about what I did uh, with the totes. Like I said, I, I put the stuff in in the beginning, and I have basically not checked it at all um, throughout this whole grow. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You need to know, you want to know about what I did, what I didn't show, if I didn't show anything, or any of that. All right, hope you guys liked the video. Please click that like button. Please subscribe and leave me a comment. Till next time, grow something. See ya.